Magandang araw everyone. This is Elmer Maliari and welcome to my first video of my uh, uh, YouTube journey. Okay? This first video topic is all about Pagibig Fund MD2. All right? um, this um, YouTube channel uh, will aim to promote uh, financial literacy among individuals <clears throat> For them to really achieve their financial goals and to be financially independent. Okay, there are several financial instruments and investment vehicles where you can put your disposable income and allow you to grow your money, allow your money to work for you, allow your money to beat the inflation rate and um, achieve higher returns. So there are different pros and cons depending on the risk appetite of the investor. Okay, a big fund is actually recommended for investors who are risk averse, who are not really for high risk but high return investment. A big fund is is um, moderately higher, has moderately higher return, and it is less risky as compared to other investment instruments like stock market. Aside from that, aside from being um, less risky, it is a uh, tax exempt, so it is not subject to final uh, withholding tax. Okay, so I will be discussing today the frequently asked questions about MP2. How can I start investing in MP2? how much is needed, okay? The first step is you just have to create your unique number. You just log in um, in the website of Pagibig Fund. And once you create with your unique number, you can now make your initial investment, okay? Um, am I required to do regular investment or uh, on a regular basis like monthly, quarterly, annual? Um, no, uh, it's only an option whether you want to regularly invest or you just want a one-time investment. So how many years does it require for me before I can withdraw my investment? So the minimum years is actually five years. Okay, Before, before the, the guidelines of Pagibig Fund, you cannot really withdraw your or pre-terminate your investment. Um, uh, if you don't fall within the category or within the requirements where you are allowed to pre-terminate your um, investment. But now with the new guidelines, you can actually pre-terminate your investment. However, it is not recommended because um, whatever you earn from those investments, when you pre-terminate your investment, um, all of the dividend income will be Okay. So only the capital, only the investment will uh, be withdrawn and whatever the dividend income earned will be forfeited. Or other, um, other um, instances where, where you are allowed to withdraw is um, when you are uh, diagnosed with critical illness. Okay. So you are allowed to uh, withdraw for emergency. Uh, like uh, sickness or permanent disability. Okay, so what are the other frequently asked questions? Uh, what is the minimum amount of investment? The minimum amount of investment is actually uh, 500 pesos. What is the maximum? Okay, there is no limit, there is no cap. As long as you afford how much you afford, okay, there is no limit on how, uh, how much you can invest in Pagibig MP2. Okay, as you can see, these are the dividend rate of Pagibig Fund MP2 for the last five years. For 2020, 6.12%. For 2019, 7.23%. For 2018, 7.41%. For 2017, 8.11%. And for 2016, 7.43%. Okay, let's illustrate how to compute your um, possible or your potential investment. Okay, let's say for example you invested uh, for 
2016, January 2016, right? And the amount of, let's say, one-time investment only for, for five years, so 100,000. That is 100,000. Okay. January 2016. Let's separate this in the comma. Okay, this is 100,000 and the rate is, um, is 2016. Okay. And the rate is 0 0.0743. The dividend income for the year 2016 is, okay, so let's complete this one. Okay, 7,433 dividend income for the year 2016. And your investment value after one year is one hundred seven thousand four hundred thirty. And for calendar year twenty seventeen, okay. So for calendar year twenty seventeen, okay. The beginning balance will be the ending balance for twenty sixteen, and then the dividend rate is zero. 0 0.0811. Okay. It's four digits, right? And the dividend income for the second year is, as you can see, it's a compounding, compounding dividend. Okay. Whatever you earn for the previous year, it will be subjected or it will allow you to earn at the same time, right? And your investment value after two years is 116,142.57. And for calendar year 2018, your beginning balance will be your ending balance for the year 2017. Dividend rate is 0.0741. Let's multiply this one by this. All right. So you can actually shortcut this with formula, but I just want. I just would like to uh, illustrate this for everyone's um, uh, concern, okay? So ending balance would be 116 plus dividend, all right, so 124. And for calendar year 2019, your beginning balance would be the ending balance for the previous year. Dividend rate for 2019 is 0.0723. So dividend income for fourth year is 9,019.33 and the ending balance is 13376.07. For calendar year 2020, your beginning balance will be the ending balance third. And the dividend rate is 4061. Multiply this by your fund value or investment after five years, your 100,000 has grown to 141,954.68. Okay. So <clears throat> um, before I end, I just would like to illustrate the rule 72. What is rule 72? This rule 72 um, is technique uh, to determine um, how many years would it take for you to double your money or um, how much dividend rate does it take for you to double your money? Okay, let's say for example, um, what is the average uh, dividend rate of a giving fund for the last five years? Okay, average dividend rate, let's have to sum up this five. Okay, so it's a uh, 36, 36.3%, right? And divide this by five. It's a average dividend rate of a giving fund for the last five years, 7.26%, okay? So assuming uh, this trend will continue, so how many years would you take in order to double your money, let's say you want to double your one million pesos, okay? You just need to divide seventy-two by five hundred 
by 7.26. Seventy-two divided by seven point twenty-six. Oh, it's an error. Seventy-two divided by seven point twenty-six. It will take nine point ninety-two years, so less than ten years, if the average return of your investment is seven point twenty-six percent. Let's say. You want to double your money in five years. So how much um, uh, return does it require for you to double your money in five years? That will uh, so that um, you can decide uh, where you will invest your money. So you just have to divide seventy-two, okay, seventy-two by five years, and the required annual dividend rate or interest rate or uh, return is 14.4% per year. So if your investment is growing or has a dividend rate of 14.4% per year, your money will be doubled in a span of five years only. Okay, I hope you have learned a lot on this video. And uh, since this is my first video, please subscribe to my channel so that we can reach more people and educate more people promote financial literacy and also they can learn different investment instruments that they can apply in order to achieve their different financial goals in life thank you in advance and